Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to use page actions. Page actions is the website building part of this application. This allows us to build multiple pages. On the top there is a website builder application menu like website, page, content, layout etc. And below that there are website pages that we are creating. On the top you can see all the uh, different uh, default pages that are available and uh, and on the top of the uh, page there is this band which has uh, many uh, functions. Uh, we would be mostly working with the page function over here. So uh, in order to proceed further uh, I'll just uh, with the tutorial I'll just click on the page. Here you can see uh, once you click on the page uh, there is this left side panel which pops up and uh, it has uh, all the four uh, pages which correspond to these uh, uh, four uh, pages uh, on the website so whatever edits that you do over here would uh, will dynamically reflect over here so the first thing that we would be doing is uh, creating a new page which we will be adding here i'll just click on uh, add page over here So once you click on add page, uh, this goes to this uh, template section. Uh, we would first be choosing a template uh, for which we are going to build a website for. We will be building a page based on fashion and retail category of page template. List is populated with page template categories. And um, yeah, there it is, retail and fashion. Click on retail and fashion. And you can see we have a different, uh, you know, a templates that you can use or themes for the template that you can use. You just have to, in order to preview this uh, uh, template or this theme or whatever you call it, you can click on this uh, preview button which, ha which has this magnifying lens icon. Once you click on that, uh, uh, the website, the template is laid out. Now, in, in order to browse through different uh, uh, templates in the same category, you have the this uh, directional keys, which once you click, would take you to the second template, the fashion style, uh, stylist resume. We'll just go back. Okay, now since I've liked this uh, template, I'll be using this. So in order to use it, you just have to click on the use this template button. Now uh, I'll be renaming this page to modeling. Select the parent page as none and then uh, save as new page. Okay, once you uh, save that, if you can, you can see that this page called modeling has been created. Uh, since it's a new entry into this uh, pages, uh, it is in the last. As you can see, similarly, there is this new page which has dynamically created on the template over here. Now you can, uh, if you can observe, there are these directional uh, icons. So that means you can move around uh, these uh, uh, pages in order of preferences. I'll just keep this uh, on just before, okay, uh, just before the resume or I can, yeah, just be before the resume. Uh, the other thing what you can do is you can just pull this and put it inside resume, which means which will create it as a child page. So this is a parent category, this is a, a, a child category, or we can also say it as a sub page for the main page, which we don't want, but this is just an option that you can explore. I'll just remove that, put it, put it outside. So uh, again, it's outside. So it's very easy to navigate and as you can see whatever I'm doing on this left side pane is taking an effect on the main uh, website or the main uh, main template dynamically. 
now uh, you can edit this uh, section directly over here um, so let us say I want to edit this section which I will uh, just click on here this and the text will get highlighted so I'll just erase this and uh, type in whatever you want I will be typing in best model in NYC okay so once you've done that uh, you have additional options uh, on the left side page uh, like you can change text to header or normal text category and apply style edit font size color background if you are familiar with uh, you know making websites all these headers would be uh, uh, you know familiar to you and you have font and al alignment uh, which you can align this into the center up all these different you can change the font there are different options that you have so i'll just uh, not friddle around more i'll just click on this save i've saved it now if you see once i saved it uh, the pane has vanished to get page pane back click on the page menu you can um, you can uh, add content to this uh, in order to add content just click on this uh, gear button over here and uh, add content as you can see this has uh, HTML capabilities okay once you have hover this mouse over the HTML so uh, you can use the power of HTML to do this but uh, uh, I'll be keeping this tutorial very simple I'll be inserting a picture so just click on picture uh, and hover over mouse over the picture then you have two more section I'll click on the plus icon that is showing over here which will direct me to image gallery now uh, let us say I want to insert a dancing picture so I'll come here uh, come down to dancing or you can also search for dancing since the category is all already visible to me I'll just click on dancing and uh, so you'll have all these default uh, pictures in the library that are you know that come default with the app uh, with this application uh, for the website builder uh, what I would like I will choose uh, let me see uh, I'll be choosing this uh, dancing girl uh, you know a pose over here and just uh, click on uh, add to page so once you click on add to page the if you see the cursor turns into something like a crop uh, button okay so uh, and you can insert it wherever you want so i'll be inserting over here click it says click here to add click to add okay so as soon as you clicked it the image is inserted over there and uh, the another there's another easier way to uh, add content to this website uh, as you can see if you can just hover your mouse over any section let us say if i'm a uh, Hovering my mouse over this uh, header section, it has a small, uh, I would not call it an icon, but then it's like a separator which has an indicator over it uh, with a plus sign. You click on it and then it gives you additional options to, you know, uh, add text or anything else. I'll just try to add text over here. And when you click on add text, uh, it again sh oh, takes you to another dialog box which has. Uh, you know a pre-selected text so uh, I'll try to choose any uh, fancy text um, let's see uh, I'll go for um, I think this looks you know the theme looks apt for the website so I'll choose this lobster and then you have these oops yeah so this lobster and you have a default color or whatever color you want you can pick I'll click this once you double click this the that section has been added and then you can you know change this uh, default text other things like aligning the text you can uh, do that you can align the text I'll just uh, align the text to the to center uh, if you can see yeah that's it you can align the text like that and once you're done you can just hit save 
again if you see that uh, the left side pane has uh, vanished again you can click on page to go to that uh, pane now if i want to edit layout i'll just click on this edit layout so once you click on edit layout you can you know alter these things as you can see uh, it's it's a, it's like a modularity it's a, it's it's a module program so uh, you have rows and columns of different modules that you can edit or you can you know uh, also call sections that you can edit uh, so there is a separate video uh, for this entire section now if you can uh, if you want you can directly copy a page uh, yeah. so what you can do is hit on this and copy page so once you copy a page uh, the copy of it uh, uh, gets created you can rename this i'll uh, rename this as uh, testimonials testimonial okay save yep we'll be deleting this page Also, uh, there is a capability of uh, taking a screenshot of uh, the page you want. Let's say uh, I want to take a screenshot of this gallery page. You can do that. You can just go to the screenshot page uh, section over here. Okay, and uh, this has uh, uh, different options. For example, uh, this is the IMG format, as in you can save it in JPEG or P uh, PNG, that the image format. You can also shift that to PDF. I'll select full width and click on print. Now, uh, there's a small reminder. Uh, please allow the pop-up so that, you know, um, this website requires the pop-up to be allowed other because the, uh, uh, the PDF, the screenshot of the page in a PDF form would open in as a new window. So please do not forget to do that. Um, we'll just wait for this process to finish. Yes, it's done. And then uh, we have the PDF form of that website. Uh, if you just scroll through that, you can save this, you can print this. I'm just going to go back to my website. Again, click on page. And if you can observe that uh, there are certain sections that, uh, you know, there are some more elements that you can access if you just click on this more uh, button over here. So it gives you additional things. Uh, let us say I want to hide this section, the home section. You can just click on hide and uh, oops. Yeah, so you cannot hide the home section. You can let's say if I want to hide the resume uh, section. Okay, I'll, I'll, I just want to hide this resume section. You can just click on uh, hide. So as you can see, uh, there is this icon of an eye, uh, a crossed out eye, which means this you know that a resume section is over here on the left panel. However, it's not there in the uh, in the you know uh, the main template. Uh, th that is how it's uh, like. This is like a dynamic preview. Whatever you do over here would uh, be reflecting over here. I'll uh, re I'll just click on that eye icon again to, or you can just click on uh, show page to get that resume page back. Uh, you can also change the uh, page background. Uh, uh, let us say I want to page, ch change the page background. Once you click on this, click on uh, more and you have the page background section over here. I'll choose color. Now click on the color palette to choose the color background. This is what I'll be using. So as you can see, once you enter that, uh, the uh, background color has changed. I'll bring down, down the opacity to just about um, uh, 17 seems fine for me. So I'll just hit save. There is also a SEO search engine optimization section for this. Just go to this option and add tags.
so you can click save over here and uh, that saves all the uh, SEO uh, settings that we have done Okay, we have the capability of exporting edited pages for future use. For example, uh, if I want to reuse this style and setting of this page, I can simply export it. We can also export the page content as a file. Now uh, to recreate more pages based on the downloaded page content, uh, just import the downloaded page. Now you can uh, publish this page. Uh, you can uh, you have the ability to publish it. Click on more, scroll down and publish page. This the first one uh, is the preview. So once you click on the preview, it uh, opens up a new window where you can uh, publish this section. And uh, then you have Facebook. Uh, then you have Google, uh, Google Plus, which is now deprecated. Uh, you can also log into your link. You can publish to your LinkedIn. You can publish to your Twitter. When you click on this, it's just like any other website where uh, a dialog box appears. You have to log in with your credentials and uh, just publish the page. So we'll close this right now. Now uh, you can also use this existing page. Uh, let us say, assuming that you've made uh, many changes to this and uh, it looks perfect and you want to use that as a template for uh, your future projects you can use this as, you can save this as a template so for that uh, you will go you will click on uh, the gear icon click on more and uh, click on save as template over here so once you click on that uh, you'll have a, te a template with these names uh, name as uh, music okay and um, you can put in your image URL, image URL and other sections. I'll just uh, save this as template. Okay, now uh, let us say we want to use that, use this as a template. I'll uh, click on add page. And in the choose template sections over here, uh, in the categories you have my templates. See, uh, the music section is already available. Just click on uh, like left click on this so that preview uh, how it can be used. I'll click on use this template, and that's how you can use it. Click on save new page, and new page is created based on page template that's saved.